So you can also light candles with showing happy birthday. Oh, I like that. I like that little effect right there. Hello everyone, this is CowCaps, and today is an interesting day. Looks like we got a new snapshot from Minecraft, the 20W45A snapshot. And the only thing I gotta say is, that I just can't wait to try this out. Amethyst, is that what it's called, Amethyst? Hey Siri, Amethyst. These, this is Amethyst right here, all this. This is all amethyst. Ugh. Amethyst. Amy. Mm. Amethyst. I'm just gonna call it that for now. Amethyst. Although they have like four of these these um, clusters and buds and stuff, they also have blocks. This is a block of am amethyst, and this is budding amethyst. So literally every type of these make music when we walk on them, place them, break them, or shoot it with a bow. Look, go shoot with this bow. Okay, that was off. You heard that? this up to my highest level all that's loud I'm gonna walk on top of it and it'll play the same if you play some break and then you can make music with this if you want yes yes I nailed it <laughs> all right all right, these are amethyst cluster right here, right here in my hand. We have amethyst cluster. They grow from the budding amethyst, which can be found inside of the geodes. So this is it right here. They grow off these things, these things right here. Looks like you can place them anywhere though for now, but they grow off of these. They have four growth stages, um, small, medium, large, and just normal. So looks like they gave us all of the all of the um, little growth stages here. Let's see. It starts off like this, grows, grows, and keeps on growing till here. So I can't wait to see various amounts of this, but these clusters can only grow when they're placed on a budding amethyst block. So like some of these, I think this one just grew without me knowing. Look, I don't remember these big ones here just a second ago. Now the fully grown ones can drop four amethyst shards or more with the fortune enchantment, of course. So when breaking these, you should use an iron pickaxe or higher to actually, you know, get the loot inside. So I'm gonna go in survival right now, grab my netherite pickaxe. And I got four! <laughs> yeah, that's like, this is the max, right? Oh no, that's, that's like the exact number. Okay, I was hoping that was lucky, but it turns out I'm not. And I guess if you break any of these, you don't get it. So you gotta make sure it grows this big, guys. So you can also use Silk Touch at any stage. So look, here's the big ones. But it does seem to be working with the smaller ones, sadly. These Amethyst Geos are very, very huge. They can be found anywhere underground in the overworld. And these Geos have an outer layer called Tuck. This is Tuck. And this is the outer layer that will be covering it. And then they have a second layer of another new block called Calakite. You know, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of our good old Doriite and Anstadite. What do you guys think? Does this look like a rep off or something? Off of a off of a fake Minecraft or something? Let me know in the comments. But this is a nice color scheme though. Oh, and inside these geodes, they have an inner layer of all of these blocks that you see right now. All of the geodes, all of the all of the things that you see right now are all inside of the nice, safe, pretty musical geo. Alright, on to the next one. Bundles are here. Right here. The glorious bundle. All right, so what we can do is do something like one of these polished grantites and red sand. See, this equals a stack, so now it's a full fat bundle. Now, I can also do something like do the red sand and half ender pearls. See that ender pearls is half a stack of ender pearls because 16 is the limit. So if I take out half ender pearl and half of red sand, these two together would equal a full bundle. And I really wouldn't suggest this for stuff like armor, so let me show you. Let me show you. I'm gonna sit this right here, bring it in. See, it's fat already because a diamond helmet is only one stack it's itself. Like, you can't pair two diamond helmets together without some sort of unnatural sheet, which I do sometimes. So, to so bring things into the bundle, just right click. So, let's say I want this in here, full stack right here. Now we can right click again to empty it. So let's say I want this back to me. Then I just right click, easy peasy. Then we can wrap a present in the bundle to give to your friend. So I just got I just got a text from from PG and you showed me something pretty cool. Let's go straight to the candles. Since we're finished with the bundles, I'm gonna show how these candles were. They come in 16 colors and one uncolored variant. 
Up to four can be placed on one block. Kind of like the sea pickles, yes. And like the tortoise eggs. I think you're taking the same thing from there and implementing it into, you know. Oh, here are the candles. Magenta candle, white candle, 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 can Oh, I'm taking the red candle. Candles allow you to properly wish someone a happy birthday. What PG just showed me was a video of him putting candles on a cake. So you can also light candles, wish someone a happy birthday. Oh, I like that. I like that little effect right there. It's like perfect. And now look, we have ourselves a perfect birthday cake. Whoever is having a birthday right now, happy birthday. Now, there's an update with our old fashioned cauldrons of ours. So if I were to do this, got myself a cauldron. Now we can fill it up with bu buckets of lava. And for proof, I'm just gonna grab myself a lava. So these filled cauldrons give off a redstone signal of strength one. All right, next one we have is our copper. It looks like we have every single type of co copper. Co that's what it's called, copper. <laughs> You craft nine of these copper ingots to make a copper block. That sounds pretty normal, right? Right. <laughs> copper block. Now, if you haven't noticed, these things will eventually start to rust. You can also craft um, cut copper, cut copper stairs, and cut copper slabs. Now, these copper ores can be found in ore blobs across the overworld, similar to iron and coal. If you do happen to come across it or start looking for it, here's what it looks like. Yeah, it's, it's pretty different. It's, like, it's pretty obvious how different it is now. It's, it stands out in the crowd. And of course, we smelt the original copper ore to get a copper ingots right here. Of course, you need to do that with a furnace or a blast furnace, just to remind you. Then, of course, we have our lightning rod. Oh boy, I can't wait to see how this works. Three copper ingots could craft this thing right here. Let me try crafting my own. A bit of DIY. I knew it. I didn't even, I just predicted it. If the lightning hits directly on here, it won't ruin your wooden roof. Like, let me see. I'm gonna put some wood on the bottom of this. I'm gonna do an epic test to see will this wood burn? Or actually, I wanna raise the stakes. Will this TNT burn if I already use a lightning rod? You're gonna see this TNT will explode even with the help of a lightning rod. So the lightning rod will protect an area of four or six blocks from the lightning strike. So um, let's see if this can do good like two, three distance, like one block distance on every side, really. Weather, thunder. Of course, I don't think that, oh, it happened. Oh my gosh, it's not gonna work, it's gonna blow up. <laughs> no, my lightning rod. Oh, it actually paid off. <laughs> Killed a creeper. All right, all right. But still, it's great for wooden roofs, right? I'm gonna grab myself some wood around here. Will it will it strike any of these immediately? Like it did the last one? I'm also gonna tell you, this stuff gives a signal when it's striked by lightning. So whichever one gets striked first will light this redstone lamp. Let's see which one will light up first. Oh yes! This one's the winner. Sorry dude, but you're gonna get blown up. You know, as soon as you get striked. Sorry for you. The copper will oxidize over time. So let me give yourselves some copper examples. We have ourselves a copper block, a lightly weathered copper block, a semi-weathered copper block, and a completely weathered copper block. What the? <laughs> block. <laughs> what was that capital K doing there? It's a typo. How, how? Oh, guess we'll never know. Anyways, here's the stages. And this will all happen over time, so copper isn't necessarily the best idea to put around your house unless you want to look like this. So yeah, but on the bright side, it takes 50 to 82 Minecraft days for the copper to oxidize one stage. So look, this stuff can last for a long time and it's all yours for one snapshot and the wax copper blocks will not oxidize. If I were to put the copper block in the, the honeycomb here, we have some wax copper. This will last forever. It's hard to tell the difference though. Now you can wax in any of these stages. So like, if you if you want to keep color like this forever, then you just wax it and it'll stay just like this forever. You can't turn back the time or anything. You gotta wax it as soon as you get it, if you want it to look like this. And you don't have to wax this at all. Like, it's just lonely. It's just gonna sit here, just stay like that. Okay. I was excited about this. We have the spyglass. I want to see how that thing's doing over there. I set TNT like all around it. I want to see how it's doing at a safe distance. I can get it anywhere and just look off. I thought it was a telescope, but it's a spyglass. How does this look like? Oh, wow. Look at this animation <laughs> right to my eye. I'm wearing glasses, by the way. This is not looking good. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Looking good so far. It's a rainy day. Nothing seemed to strike it yet. And that's all you need for the help of your spyglass. It will take one of these Emetheus 
shards right here and it'll take two copper ingots oh wow oh wow actually oh okay all right like i said two copper ingots and uh amethyst shard to make one of these spy glasses for yourself isn't this a beautiful sight like I can spy on zombies burning. They don't have to chase me just to see them safe from harm. But of course, I was just doing this outside in the middle of the night where you don't know what's like right behind you. Like who does that? Anyways, tinted glass now is a type of glass that does not allow light to pass through. So let me get myself some tinted glass. Oh my gosh. Look at this. I'm going to prove to you that this thing works. Now, let me get a daylight sensor. If this, if this works as I expect it to, this thing will activate this redstone lamp right here. Like that, right? But what happens if I were to put this over it? It doesn't work. No. <laughs> huh. But I also have another idea. I'm gonna trap myself in a dirt, or just a grass hut for a sec. You know, absolutely no light passes through when you're trapped in one of these. I wanna see how it works here. What will it look like, okay? Nothing. Oh, wow. It really does not let light come through. Okay, I might have underestimated this thing. Look at that! It's like nothing's in here! Think about spawning, having a, mo a monster spawner with this tinted glass. Like, think about how convenient the opportunity is now. And of course, they can be attained with silk touch just like any other glass, so this is the most convenient thing. Oh, look at that! Look at that difference, that's awesome! And all you need to do to grab this is glass and four Metheus shards. Look at that. Two tinted glass for each one. So if we were able to mine the whole geode of this stuff, how much of this will we obtain? It'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Now, here's something we've all been waiting for with your everyday minecarts. Minecarts and rails of any kind can now work underwater. They won't be destroyed when they get soaked. So go ahead and add an underwater roller coaster to your amusement park today. Experienced orbs can now sometimes merge when in large quantities to improve the game performance. This will kind of limit the amount of orbs floating around your world, but it won't change the actual amount at all. For example, I've been throwing these um bottles of oh, enchanting for like five minutes, and the change was so subtle that I barely noticed, but um, hey, I didn't lag, so I'm okay with that. Now your everyday simple firework rockets can be crafted using the crafting tables recipe book. If I were to type in firework rockets, here it is. And now we have our everyday simple boring firework rockets, which are only amusing when you're wearing elytra. Yep, amusing, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave your comments in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys later. Adios.